Hey guys, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective, Texas fight, Texas Longhorns get it done, Utah, 38-10 victory in the Alamo Bowl in San Antonio, we hold down Texas, dominant victory, guys, I was wrong in my preview, I picked Utah to win this game, and we came out and whooped ass, we came out and dominated from the opening whistle, the opening snap, all three facets of the game. I was impressed with the product that Tom Herman and this UT football team put on the field. This is just a really, really quick, I'm getting ready for a New Year's party. Uh, my wife and I were getting ready to celebrate here in Austin, Texas. Uh, I'm in my hotel room right now, but just wanted to get something out. We'll be back with a full post-game Alamo Bowl recap with Tran tomorrow. But uh, just quick thoughts, the physicality, uh, and, and and I just want to give out thank yous, man. Thank you to Devin Duvernay for a fantastic career. And he ended on a high note, you know, uh, the catches, the over the shoulder down the sideline, and then later in the end zone at the end of the game. Uh, as those of you who have been following me throughout this channel, I've been defending Keontae Ingram throughout this season and him having his big play at the end of the game and being the steady force in the run game against a very, very stout Utah defensive front featuring a Bradley and Nye. They were they were impressive today. Again, all three phases, Deshaun Jameson and the punt return team getting them going. We got a, a court uh, a Jaquise appearance on defense. We got guys out here smacking, landing on the line uh, for Craig Nyavar, who did a fantastic job calling plays. The defense was phenomenal all night uh, uh, and did a great job A, tackling and B, containing Zach Moss in the run game, sticking with their run fits and getting Utah in those must-pass situations and getting them to pass on UT's terms. And they were dominant tonight. And this is, it's 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 fun. And I'm, I'm always happy, again, ending the decade on a dub and, and, and representing and putting on for the Big 12 and, and, and beating a team that was ranked 11th in the, in the country. And I think after this victory, we should be ranked finishing eight and five on the season. But it's also frustrating seeing how they play tonight and knowing this is what these guys are capable of. When you see a Joseph Osai, who's a player of the game, three sacks, three tackles for loss, six tackles, like just all over the place. And, and he was featured a lot throughout this broadcast. And, and a guy who I've been, you know, I've been a Joseph Osai fan going back to last season, but just been so impressive with playing out through all three levels. And, you know, when I talk about like a guy like an Isaiah Simmons on a Clemson, I see some of those similarities with the Joseph Osai, at least with two levels of defense. And and not us not capitalizing on that. Hopefully, we can use this as a building block the way we did not do with Georgia coming out of the Sugar Bowl. Hopefully, this is the right turn. Now, we got the new coordinators coming in, and guys are, you know, put out some, some good tape out there to, to impress a Chris Ash or a Mike Yersich and, and seeing where they potentially fit in this, this offense, this defense, and special teams. But we took all three facets of the game seriously. We took our opponent seriously tonight. And we came out and played, and we dominated athletically, strength, and mentally. And and there's no better way I could uh, bring in the new year with a, a dub and a Texas victory over the Utah Utes or whatever the hell, how you pronounce their name. <laughs> but, um, guys, I, I'm just I'm thrilled. Like I said, I'll be back with Tran tomorrow night with the full breakdown recap we'll go through everything uh, but there was a lot of good I saw out there on the field and a lot of passion I saw our boys play with and I'm proud of this Texas Longhorn team and how they finished this season they had a professional effort tonight and and, and they represented and the fans that was the last shout out I want to give the fans in San Antonio, Texas, that showed up for the Alamo Bowl were a huge, huge benefit for this team in the game and brought a lot of energy. We could see it throughout the broadcast. So for those of you who went out there tonight and, and supported the Longhorns, thank you. Hook them. Guys, horns always up. We love y'all.